best lakes are always off dirt roads, folks. Little hidden gems. Alright guys, it is December 9th and we are hopefully gonna go put the hurtin on some giant bluegills here um, I'm waiting for good buddy Cody Krug and Matt Waldron to show up pretty quick here uh, I just drove down to Bemidji we're in western Minnesota so trying out some new lakes and we'll kind of see what happens so uh, hopefully we can knock out some giants so we'll let you know what's going on <laughs> ready to bang them or what now we're ready to bang them Well, lake one that looked really, really good, had a bunch of flooded timber in it. There's no lake maps on that lake and there's uh, no DNR surveys whatsoever. And well, it uh, had some open spots in the middle, even though it was really tiny. So it must be really deep. Um, so we're uh, not gonna risk it. And we went to a little bit larger lake, but a lake that we know is 15 foot at most. And so it's, uh, it's really, really shallow and there's safe ice out there not enough for a, a snowmobile but there's uh, enough for walking so we got a point right over here that we're gonna go and try to drill out first to see if we can find some gills uh, one of the holes that I punched out there had a little milfoil so it looks like there's some green healthy weeds still in here so hopefully uh, we can put a few fish on the ice for you Tell the folks at home what you just did, Krug. Well, uh, had about six of them down there. Oh, boy. And, uh, actually was, uh, using this clam drop kick right here. It's kind of frozen to the ice. Black with, uh, orange plastic on it. Switched right over to the old caviar drop, tipped with two Euro larvae. Seemed to do the ticket. They all came back and just smoked it. Hopefully more of these start showing up. It's been a long day trying to find bluegills. Yeah, they're definitely moving through. Yeah, a couple more down there. Yeah. Doesn't like the light very much. Fun through the ice. I always think some big gills to move through. <laughs> Largey for you right there. Yeah. That ain't a bluegill, but uh, we'll take it. That was a fun fight on this little schoolie reel. Um, hopefully, uh, now that the sun's finally starting to set, we can get some uh, some nice.
nice gills coming in, but uh, that's always fun tangling into these largemouths. Um, but uh, I'm going to get it back. It's kind of cold out right now, so my uh, hand is solid ice. Boy, that's a nice one, Matt. Uh, that's probably the nicest one I've seen to come out of here, don't you think? Yeah, pretty close. I mean, that we've, that we've got at least. Yeah, that's the biggest uh, one. Yeah, that's by far the biggest one I think we've caught. Um, but that uh, got a little worried there because it uh, got me into the weeds. I was like, oh no. That one came in like three foot off. Oh, really? Yeah. Suspended, huh? Yeah, yeah we've been catching a lot of large mouth, but hopefully these big bluegill start moving in here. Like that. Yeah, there was a couple of them with me, so I'm going to get back to my head. Any wise words? Dude, look at that one. That's a monster. That's what we came out here for. I haven't caught very many of them. I mean, it's getting kind of dark out now, so they're turning on a little bit, but just choked that snowdrop. Oh my god. That right there is nice. Giants yet, but uh, it's pretty fast and furious action right now. Come on. There we go. Whatever this is, this feels better. Oh, yeah, real nice bluegill. Fish. Sure. 
Joey. That's a wrap for the night, folks. Banged them. After dark bluegills. All right, boys. Right. <laughs> right. Left.